for students uh, who are looking to get into the jobs market becomes extremely important as well. Uh, what, what are their views and expectations from the budget? That is like one of the what is causing the inflation? Is the dollars causing? Well, uh, certainly. So, uh, Avni, firstly, if you talk about, you know, we are here to speak about the education uh, sector because these are the students who are the future of our country. So, till today, what we understand, since 1968, the uh, only 3% of the GDP spent on the education sector. So, here there is a need, and the biggest expectation today is to have an increased budget allocation. So, here directly, we'll start and speak to a few of the students who. I have with me to just get quickly word from them about the expectations. Thank you so much. So today there's the union budget. What you are really expecting from the education? Uh, because currently you all are studying uh, MBA in finance right now. Then obviously you'll have jobs ahead as well. Um, so what's the big, uh, you know, expectation today from the budget? As we have seen last year, there was a major slash in the budget allocation for education sector. Around uh, 93,000 crores were allocated for the budget. So this year we are hoping that around 6 to 8 percent of the GDP should be allocated for the budget uh, for education sector. This is not only necessary for the education sector, it is also uh, great for scaling up the youth for better employment opportunities. So, uh, you know, because like I rightly pointed out that 6 percent has been the highest, you know, demand since 1968, uh, that 6 percent of the GDP should be allocated for the budget. What is your expectation today? Uh, pandemic has uh, affected the traditional Indian education system and at the same time attack was growing rapidly so uh, according to me i feel that government should bring down the gst rates for education uh, at tech platform which is currently 18 percent it should uh, brought it should be brought down to uh, almost five percent and also there is disparate uh, disparity among uh, for the printed books which is five percent uh, gst rate uh, and for online books which is 18 percent it should be brought at par level for sure. at 5%. We'll take one last, of course, answer before we uh, wrap this. So, as rightly pointed out, uh, the COVID-19 has brought a disparity between the education. So, uh, e-learning is a, is a thing right now. So, uh, e-learning is a thing right now. So, uh, the government should uh, government should uh, emphasis on uh, internet connectivity and uh, bringing the, uh, the internet to the last uh, last mile of India so that each student gets online education. So uh, this is what the students really expect from right. the budget, uh, you know, to have an increased budget right. allocation to also uh, enhance the student loans as well, Abhi. Back yes, to you. Yes, absolutely, Disha. Thank you so much for uh, getting us those voices as well. Uh, let me also quickly bring in uh, Sunil Sangai, who's joining us as well. Thank you so much for joining us here on the broadcast. Uh, your